What? Apparently it's my birthday. Welcome back to iCaliber. I'm your guide, Matt. We're playing Dragon Age Origins, and Sir Roland thinks it's my birthday. You are welcome, my friend. Yes, I know it's not today, but who cares? I wanted to give you something. Uh... Actually, I think it's cologne. But... Ha! I promise you I have it. It's real cologne. Let's say that in our current living conditions, the state of the roads, the dry weather and heat, not to mention your physical activity, hey. I thought that you'd <clears throat> appreciate it. The cologne is for dudes. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Preceded by a two-hour bath, probably. Come, let's scare some more dark spawn. With your horrible cologne? Okay. Uh, so we should also have gotten the green... Oh, right, I need to return that to Caitlin. And Helm of the Red, which... It's, it's nothing special. And I think that's about it. Anyway, I was going to do something with my video files, so I'll do that. And welcome back, folks, to iCaliber. I'm your guide, Matt. We're playing Dragon Age Origins Remastered. We have come to Denerim to basically screw around in this giant city and see what there is to be seen. Because there's a lot to be seen around here. When? Is this yours? Ooh, my bag of components. Thank you, dear. I was wondering where it got to. You left it by the fire at camp. Really? Oh, yes. I remember now. How age creeps up on you and brings with it forgetfulness. You're a great mage, Wen, and you're sharper and wiser than many people I know. Some young ones, too. Oh, but you should have seen me 15, 20 years ago. The fires have dimmed somewhat since then. Don't say that, Wen. Thank you, Liliana, for picking up after this old lady. Hello, child. You've come at an opportune time. Uh, a bunch of stuff that you can do here. Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? Um. I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> Pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. I'll bet. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. She's Indiana Jones. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Too bad they don't have Snopes. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. I see. When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. Ooh. We all want a personal connection to the Maker, we want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. As opposed Faith to just a dirty heart, sandal. Not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. It's been a long road. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the Maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire, but it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. Social commentary. Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, Though it's possible the urn broke. That would suck. Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. Religion. 
You've shown admirable patience listening to my diatribe before. I will not bore you again. Fine. Suffice it to say, I look for and authenticate yeah, okay, holy you relics for the chant. See you of later. Of course, enjoy your visit to the chantry. Bye bye. Uh, Templar guards, chantry boards, right? What are you guys up to? In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Maker guide them all. Yeah, that was sad. That which you fear, living in the shadow of death alone, I have seen it is only a cloud passing before the sun. Too much the death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim, and we've many more yet to hold. Okay, it's got a lot to answer for. Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the lyrium that does this. Yeah. He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. A sad life. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. Uh, oh, right. Perpetua. The one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world, and roasts not, nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Uh -huh. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's <laughs> benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. Don't tell the me how to eat my peas. The holds no uncertainty for her. And she will know no fear of death. For the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... Sandwich. There's no veal in the chant. I think someone's hungry. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Oh, hello, dear. Can we help you? Um, what she means is, in Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! <laughs> what would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. Here, here. Praying for the good people of Denerim who've lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said. <laughs> Andraste, deliver us. If her grace would hear this. I wouldn't mess up the words if you wouldn't keep interrupting me. Grand Cleric Alamena understands the importance of concentration, you know. End of her breakfast. Grace, may the Maker bless her heart, lost her hearing 20 years ago. If she doesn't catch your blasphemous mistakes, it's because she didn't hear them. You guys really need to settle down about blasphemy. It didn't do the Catholic Church any good. Tell you about the chant? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. <laughs> Sister. <laughs> Instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? Uh... Nothing. It is almost mealtime, isn't it? Um, uh, blessings of the Maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. Bacons of the Maker to you, too. Uh... Slim Cooldry. I, th I think we need to talk to him at some point. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal, but know that the sun always rises. Unless you live in Vancouver, then the sun only rises sometimes. Eliminate the criminals preying on innocent folk in Denerim's back alleys. I'll do it. Missing in action. Find Rexel. I'll do it. Fazil's request. Alright, his lost sextant. 
I'll do it. Uh, where is arrived in a conflict? Go to our nation. Further near the effects of their respect, the honor terabiting his troops, provide whatever comfort they deserve. Oh. Yeah, I'll treat those brave soldiers to a little bit of comfort. Eternal comfort. The refugees sleep in the dark spawn, the carnage from the ground fighting for their lives, some players necessarily occupied. I'll do it. Skin deep. Like Commander Thames. Creatures. Samples from the remaining creatures as close to the presumed source as possible. Sure, I'll do that too. Yeah! We got all the quests. And speaking of which... Oh, uh oh. Oh, okay. Dog has found a child. Puppy! No, no, that's a dog. <laughs> Puppy! No, no, it's... It's, it's a large dog. <laughs> Sorry, dog. No other BFFs for you. Ah, right, Mage's Collective Bag. Hiding back here. Blood of Warning. Yeah, okay. Each home with goat's blood from the vials. Evacuate from the chance to threaten them. Okay. Only successful at the pleasure of the Templars. Yes, man. Grace our good friends the gift of lyrium. Ten lyrium potions are from the Night Commander Harris and Redcliffe. Okay. Have you seen me? The collective is sad at the absence of the great mage Reynold. Okay. And the scrolls of Bannister. I already have a bunch of them anyway, so. Why not? Alright, Slim, what do you want? Hello there, Warden. I'm a friend. I don't believe I've you. I've heard you're putting up the good fight against Loghain and Hal, right? Good for you. Make a spit on all those arrogant noble bastards. Well, I... I've also heard you have certain skills. Skills of the street, you might say. No judgments here, mate. I want to help you. Okay. You're a noble. I uh, didn't know that. Well, but now you're you a do. Warden, and my hope is you'll help us little fellas out. Okay. The name is Slim Cauldry, and if you've heard of me, I've been doing a sad job of it, haven't I? I hear a great many things, and for those who view certain pesky laws as mere nuisances, there's some ripe fruit to be plucked out there. I do I can like fruit. Away. All I ask is for a little slice for myself. Okay. My share goes to a good cause. The poor. My family. I've got 15 cousins. They all have 15. giant heads Can like you me. Imagine? My uncle must walk around with a permanent bulge. <laughs> it's disturbing, that is. Alright. Well, one of my mates noticed your skills. Nice piece of work, that uncommon caliber, if you don't mind me saying. But I need to know what else you can do. Ever done bump and grabs? Do much blending in shadows? Different opportunities for different folk, you know. Sure, sure. Oh, you're multi-talented, are you? Don't get much of that in these parts. Since the guard will hang or skewer you if you get caught, it makes advancement dicey. Now that we have that settled, just ask away. One point. I don't like blood much. Call me old-fashioned, but the maker says thou shalt not strangle, decapitate, or whatnot, unless the other fella really had it coming, eh? I realize sometimes That's you do what you have it. to, but restraint, right? Restraint. So, what are you interested in? Um. I've got one. Should be easy pickings. Fifty silver. Okay. A lady's maid is in the marketplace. She's wearing bright green. Should be easy to spot. She's got a purse with some of her mistress's ill-gotten gems. Not the ill-gotten gems. A purse, and then we both come out ahead. Good luck, Warden. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. Did I take... Do -do 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 -do. No accomplishments, I'll level up. Skills... Did I take away your stealth ability? Terrible of me. Right, terrible. 
Anyway, I think you have a higher level of stealing ability. <laughs> the bustle of a market district. The pickpockets home away from home. I bought a confection of spun sugar here once. It got stuck in my head. Made it hard to come out. You know what the butcher told me today? There's a grey warden loose. I recognize you. From Ostagar. Where'd you come from? I trust his blood. You're a grey warden. Duncan's apprentice. I'm busy. You killed my friend. And good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. Okay. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor, and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nord Noble Tavern. There we will duel. Let's see. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? I mean, you were there. I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. Of course I'm right. I regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, Warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. That's cool. If you find proof, are you going to challenge Terran Logain, too? Now, where else have we been so far? Dwarven a chest crafts. Here. Find dwarven crafts. Direct Don't mind from Orzammar. Me. You won't find better. Guess I can't steal that. I'm not invisible. Fade the apprentice. There what we is are. It? I have work to do. Not anymore. What does it say? Ah, I knew this would happen. Just when I was starting to get good. Sorry, well, dude. Thanks. I guess. Hey, anytime. Uh, so uh, the other is recurring, right? Okay. Yeah, what else we need to find here? Oh, well, there's a bear there, obviously. Oh, the Magic raven. To serve man and You're back, okay. eh? Yeah, I'm back. One lady's maid groped and pilfered. Hey, that's not. That's how I'd like to imagine it happened. It's not quite. You want something else? Well, uh. I've got a place for you. It should be easy money for you. It'll cost one sovereign, though. Okay. Lady Sophie is an intimate of Al Hal. Real intimate. Cool. She's visiting the country, because that's what rich folk do when the whole bloody kingdom's in danger. Well, naturally. I Sorry, mean. they just get me so angry. <clears throat> her room in the Nord Noble Tavern is unattended. That means her valuables are just there for the taking. Nice. You've got the tavern staff to worry about. Plus, she has hired a guard. A very overworked, tired, and bored guard, though. <laughs> just be careful, and you should be fine. Good luck. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's see. Knight Commander Tavish. Door of a Blood Mage's relative. Just... Very well. There we go. 